So here today, in a couple of minutes, you will see physical construction of what we call the world's largest Raspberry Pi cloud. And uh, so, and here is the team. Together we have worked, and we have others as well. So the idea actually spun out from the fact that uh, when we do an ambitious project, we have to have a vision. So our vision was that we have a, a, a helicopter fl a flying in a savanna. It is dropping in a place where there's no electricity. A cloud, cluster. You can think of an emergency area. All the infrastructure has been damaged. Three universities was a Bolsano sends the helicopter. And down comes the cloud. <laughs> infrastructure, the software, and all the services. So we set out some, we set out for a mission together with the team. We decided we do something that makes us smile. We have to do something as we are cloud computing researchers that other universities could benefit as well. So it has to be easily affordable. And I, just to be very frank, in university these days, the money doesn't grow in trees. We set the limit 25,000 euros. It has to be the cost of the complete rack. And we hear and see from the presentations before that those racks, they cost a little bit more. It still yet has to be physically powerful enough. It has to be complicated enough. It has to be challenging. So it's, when we solve problems in that distributed computing environment, it is a non-trivial task. Physically, it has to be small-sized. You can think, when we are dropping it down, you cannot drop the uh, 25,000 packages. In one package, everything has to fit in. And as this is the design university, we are the very few places where the natural collaboration exists. So we set out to have uh, high design standards. We should go for industrial design, meaning that it looks cool, it feels cool, it's functional. All the software we run is open source. The problem is nobody did it. So we have been doing it. Are we ready? We will see you soon. We are scientists, so we document things in a scientific way. So you have to have proper documentation on the endeavor that we do. So that is accept acceptable in the good scientific forums. And finally, mobile. It, has, it, can, it cannot produce, as you drop it somewhere, it cannot produce too much energy. And finally, it leaves zero carbon footprint. And, of course, always an internet. We came across about this open electronics program. This is called a Raspberry Pi. It's a, it's a, a card, credit card sized computer. It's like a real computer, missing all the things. So you have to buy some uh, hardware to get it running. Display and uh, some cables. It costs 30 euros. 700 megahertz CPU. <clears throat> that inspired us that we can do it. We have something, we have concrete physical artifact. And not only that, we have only two months to get it done. Two months from idea delivery. That's university today. That's what the Tuffins work together means. That's delivery. These guys haven't been sleeping. I have. <laughs> and then, because we have South Tyrol, we also have to get all the acquisition. We have to, all the hardware material. Uh, we have to buy them. And know when we are in the public institution, you know what it means. It means magic. But luckily, we have magic people who can buy stuff. Otherwise, no single hardware pieces around in ever buy. So people say it's impossible. But without being a Tom Cruise or anything, I say Mr. Impossible 
It's not a known term. So we did it, and this is how we did it. I will show you, simply. We have a platform in this university, software factory, place where people come to work together and challenge some project together with industry. Customers come around uh, uh, wherever they are. We work in a network fashion. Unfortunately, in this project, we were going so fast, our Spanish experts, they didn't manage to keep up. <laughs> we started the project with the Technical University of Madrid, and uh, we will continue with them in September. Two months is tough on such a time scale. But we have the infrastructure, so we have it all in place. The only thing is we need excitement, we need people. And since this is only an 8 credit point course, you have to do 10 times more work than you usually do. So what do you do? You motivate. I don't know how, magically. That's again about the new university. We are here not for the credits, we're here for the learning experience. So here's a team with all in different roles. Even Hans in a, in a role missing half of the head. <laughs> All these people play the key role in getting it done. So here's what we did. We got 300 Raspberry Pi computers. We have a big desire to drop the open stack on it. People haven't done it before. And we have some issues with it. Then we, get the, we merge the idea of a rack with the Italian brand of the design. And out comes our rack. Our rack that is sustainable and good. And then we have uh, the scientific targets for our work to be accomplished. So how affordable is this? I said it has to be affordable. Well, I have to say it costs more than 2,000 liters. But quite reasonably, this project, so far, with the requirements that I showed, have cost 2,200, no, 22,500 euros. Very reasonable cost, with 300 nodes running. The technical details will follow. So I call it a very affordable. Any university can buy it. We are still missing, if you think about the future, we have still a couple of components missing. Two months were not there. So we haven't installed the uh, solar power <coughs> power system. We are now calculating how much is actually each energy. But as each of these is only five watts, you can imagine 300 is not magically watt. So energy efficiency. And then we are missing the, we were getting the satellite phone prototype but it only worked in American soil. Uh, and uh, here is a different satellite flying above or, and, or the Africa, so that didn't work out. So we have to work on that. And finally, uh, the dropping zone box. But these are not anymore, I will see, as much as sad challenges. And now the summer is coming, and we have to put the 300 CPUs doing something good. So. If you happen to know the folding project run by the Stanford that is trying, uh, trying to find cure for the uh, uh, diseases like cancer. So that's where our uh, Meta RPI, as we call it, will participate during this summer. Three months of 300 CPUs running 24 seven doing that. And as we, have, we are now sitting here easily relaxed, well, the guys will show the technical details. The big surprise, of course, that here, 25 of you will leave a mark to the cluster that stays there forever, as long as forever lasts. <laughs> so you will get uh, one of the rec elements, which you can sign, and then you will install it physically to the rack. So it's signed by your name, running there, doing good stuff. But that uh, follows uh, a little bit later on. But without any further yappity do, I uh, let uh, guys explain the, the details.
details about the technology. That's important as well. So guys, good luck. <laughs>